Hi guys, it's Nika. Um, I hope you are doing well. I am finally, after a few days, my back doesn't hurt. It's been a terrible few days, but hopefully it will all be good now and I will be a bit more careful. I don't know what exactly I did to be in such pain, but it's over, thank God. Hopefully it won't happen again. And um, yeah, I'm in a very good mood because it just started snowing a few minutes ago. So if this video is all over the place, I'm just really excited about the snow and I will probably go out in the afternoon because I just, I want to enjoy the snow, okay? We don't get it as often as I would like in, in the winter. Oh, and another reason why I am super excited and happy is because I'm recording this the first Monday after the presidential election and it worked out. <laughs> we are finally going to have a president that I'm not going to be ashamed of. And I'm just, I'm so happy and everyone is so happy. Like we had the news channel on for all of Saturday and pretty much for all of Sunday too. And you can just tell everyone is excited, the journalists, the people, everyone. And yeah, I just, I, I, I have a lot of hope for, you know, <laughs> the next five years. I don't know. No. And like, yeah, I know it won't like affect me personally too much, but it's so nice to have a chance to have a president that I won't be ashamed of. I don't know. I'm just excited. And yeah, I, I care about the politics a little too much sometimes. Um, yeah. Anyway, today I will be building a another modern house. <laughs> it's yeah, I know I said a few times that like that's not my favorite style. And here I am always building modern houses. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. They are not my favorite style, but they are so fun to build. So maybe they are my favorite favorite style. I don't know. Yeah. And anyway, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I'm, I can just keep babbling and like, I don't know. I'm not even sure what makes me the most excited, to be honest. There's a lot of reasons. Also, I got my mats back. I don't know if you heard, but <laughs> I was without my mat for a few days. So that's making me pretty excited too. I mean, the fact that I have them back. Um, back to the build, back to the build. Oh my god, this is all over the place. I'm sorry. So another modern build, and this time I decided to make a simple cube. It is like three floors, three floors plus basement, and yeah, it's basically just a cube, just a very simple cube, and I tried to make it look cool. Whether I succeeded or not, that's up to your judgment. But I'm personally very happy with this house. Especially with the interior. I think that turned out so, so cool. But also the exterior is kind of cute as well. At first, I wanted to base this house or inspire it, make it inspired by my grandparents' house, which I actually mentioned in another video. But in the end, I went with this much more modern and uh, stylish vibe. That was like the way I could make it look cool, because if I built my grandparents' house or a house inspired by their house, it would, not, it would not look as cool. So yeah, but still, I started off with like the thought of my grandparents' house. So yeah, I think I should mention that. But yeah, the, the end result is nothing like my grandparents' house. I don't think they would like this house. I mean... I don't think they would like to live in this house because it's very like modern and fashionable and for very young people and yeah. And I also have an idea what kind of family lives in this house. And I don't know why I always come up with tragic backstories or sad storylines for them. But I imagine this family, there is a couple, their adopted child and one of the couples, wait, one of the young adult sims teenage sibling. I imagine maybe the couple are like um, two men and their child is a daughter, a little daughter. And the sibling, I feel like he's, yeah, he's a teenager. <laughs> he's a teenager, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say. And basically this family, what I imagine to be, they do a lot of work on the internet. I feel like they're a very modern family. They're like a family of influencers sometimes. Like, um, how would I say it? Like maybe too good to be true. Like they, and I love these Sims already, even though I have not created them. But 
it's a bit crazy because they pretty much put every aspect of their life on the internet and like they make sure everything is perfect everything looks perfect and it's just it's a bit crazy <laughs> to imagine and i would not like to be like that but yeah they kind of do that um and yeah now for the sad part i'm not sure which thing which, which of these two ideas i will go with in the end but i've got two ideas one the two siblings parents are dead and the older brother had to take the younger brother in which is I, I don't know if this is the sadder idea anyway idea two is that um the parents are shitty i will i will say that yeah the parents are shitty and they kind of disown their sons because uh one of the sons is gay and the other son is uh i i imagine him to be trans and they have shitty parents and their shitty parents disown them at first they disowned their older son for being gay and for being married to a man and then when their younger son came out as trans they disowned him too and he had no place to go so he just went to his brother and eventually this little family they they made a lot of money and they could afford a nice big house and yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know what i was going to say there so yeah i'm not sure which one of these ideas i will go with in the end but basically the parents are not in the picture and yeah <laughs> so the, the older brother is taking care of the younger brother and like i said they put a lot of stuff on the internet they basically make money on the internet all of them i think well obviously the child the, the little daughter she she does not and i feel like I don't know i'm getting this idea that she maybe isn't really a fan of all this internet stuff like yeah she's young she like, she like doesn't understand these things yet but she already feels like that's not for her and she would like to do something else with, with her life but i feel like the couple one of the one of the men is more of like a gamer and he streams and he does like let's play videos and, and youtube or simtube i guess and the other makes like workout videos for the internet and helps with like uh, meal plans and diet plans and stuff like that and healthy life healthy lifestyle and stuff and then the, the brother I still don't have the names for these sims i'm sorry and i don't know when i will create them but i do want to create them um and the younger brother of the gamer sim there we go i figured out that he's the gamer sims brother um yeah he's like he's an artist he's an artist and he posts his art on the internet and he does commissions and art streams and yeah, all sorts of stuff that he could do on the internet for, for money. And maybe he streams games too sometimes, because I feel like the brothers, they really, really love playing games together too. Maybe he streams with his brother too, I don't know. But yeah, that's the family, I guess. That's, I guess, all that I have to say about them. I'm trying to think if I forgot about anything. No, that's all. I think I didn't give them any pets or that there are no there's no pet stuff on the lot however when you download this lot you can totally put it there like a pet bed or like bowls or something like that definitely there's place for that and yeah that's all about the family i think i can't think of anything else about them so yeah this house has three or well basically four floors in the base in the basement there's a gym then upstairs you have a living room and laundry room and obviously the entryway which by the way i love this i love this floor so much i think it's so cute then on the first floor you have a kitchen and a dining room like it's one big room and these two are there then the gamer sim has his office there which i think turned out really really cool um the office also has this tiny balcony which is very cute yeah and then there's also a bathroom which i really love i always say that i don't put much effort into bathrooms but i think that's no longer true 
I really enjoy bathroom snow. I don't know what it is, but I really, really enjoy bathroom snow. And um, yeah, that's no, 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 that's not all of the first floor. Then there's also this bigger balcony and I think there's like a grill there so they can sit there in the summer and, you know, have a barbecue or something. Yeah, I think that's on the first floor as well. And then on the final floor, on, on the second floor, I think. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, um, I got a bit, a bit confused. Yeah, there are just bedrooms, I think. Yeah, bedrooms and another bathroom, of course. So this house has three bathrooms. The, the laundry rooms basically serves as a bathroom too. Yeah, there are three bedrooms, three bathrooms and yeah. Oh, and outside there's a hot tub. I don't know why I put a hot tub everywhere, but I do put it everywhere. I don't know, I, I think it's cool. Uh, I didn't really feel like putting a pool there. I felt like a hot tub would be better for this particular house. I don't know. I mean, you can always switch it up and put a pool there if you feel like, or if you don't have the stuff pack that came with hot tubs. Which one was it? Perfect patio or something? Yeah, perfect patio, I think. And of course, then there's the base game hot tub, which everyone hates for some reason. Why does everyone hate it? <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not the best hot tub that we have in the game, but I don't think it deserves the, the amount of hate that it got. I mean, it was like an anniversary gift, wasn't it? So yeah, I understand that like for an anniversary, we were all expecting something better, but it's not that bad. Like, come on. <laughs> I feel like we got worse items in the game for free. Like how there were those football shirts like about two months ago or something when the football cup was happening those yeah i don't really i didn't really care about those because i don't like football <laughs> i don't watch football at all i the only sport that i watch is ice hockey and obviously when there's olympics and there's some uh, athletes that i like or maybe someone who like really has a chance to win then I will watch them too but I don't really watch sports other than ice hockey I really love watching our national team I'm especially now I am such a big fan of our women ice hockey team those girls are so cool and I just I love them so much and you know they are so successful lately like you didn't hear anything about women's ice hockey for years here and when you did people were like kind of making fun of it or saying that girls shouldn't play ice hockey because it's a man's sport and it's tough and not for girls and then last year yeah it was last year at the winter olympics everybody was obsessed with them and everybody wanted them to win and I, I don't think they won in the end i think they ended in the quarterfinals but still that was such a huge achievement and then there was the international championship i think and they got the bronze medal which was pretty cool and i just i think it's so cool and i don't know there there's something about women's ice hockey i don't know <laughs> and yeah obviously i watch i watch the men's ice hockey too everybody in the Czech Republic loves ice hockey and it's kind of like our national sport we still kind of call it our national sport even though we haven't had many achievements lately yeah the last gold medal in like the international championship was 2010 then we had two bronze medals i think 2011 2012 and then nothing for 10 years and then last year, finally, we got another bronze medal, which is great. And I'm hoping things will finally be better again. And I'm really upset that I wasn't alive for like the golden era of Czech ice hockey. Seriously, I am so upset I didn't see that. I was born almost two years after our biggest ice hockey achievement, which was the Olympics in Nagano. And every time my mom, my mom, my mom loves ice hockey even more than I do. And every time she talks about it, it's like, it was a huge deal for this country and everybody is celebrated. And to this day, it's like a huge, big uh, 
thing that we are proud of. And when people are listing the achievements that are the historical moments that happened since the split of Czechoslovakia until today, which is 30 years. By the way, don't call my country Czechoslovakia. It's not Czechoslovakia anymore. Um, anyway, when people are talking about these 30 years, they always list Nagano as like one of our historical moments. So I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of upset that I missed Nagano. It happened in February 1998, and I was born in December 1999, and I didn't really care about Aizuki until I don't know. I remember watching Aizuki with my mom since like 2004, 2005, and yet. Yeah, 2005, I think, was like the last year of the golden era, and then things went to hell. <laughs> and yeah, like we have some good players, but it's it's not the same as it was when I was a baby, <laughs> and I didn't really see this golden era, and I hate it. I wish I I wish I had seen it. Anyway, have I really been rambling about Isaki for like 10 minutes now? That's crazy. But yeah, it's my favorite sport. How did we even get here? Uh, oh yeah, I talked. <laughs> I talked about the football shirts that he added to the Sims for free. Oh yeah, because I was talking about the hot tub, and I was talking about. Sorry, I hit my. I hit my bin. I'm sorry. I don't know if you could hear. I. I can't speak. <laughs> Come on. I'm not sure if you could hear it, uh, but if you did, I'm sorry, and you can probably hear my budgies too. Yeah, I think we got a lot more... It's okay, guys. Keep talking. Keep talking. I'm sure people are used to it by now. What I was trying to say, I think the hot tub is not the first free item that we got in the game. Sure, it was terrible for like an anniversary. <laughs> we deserved something better for an anniversary, but there are worse items. And I hate that now, ever since the base game got free, ever since it went free in October, we got a few Sims delivery. What is it called? Yeah, delivery. We got a few items that are basically ads for other EA games. and. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't really care about those games. Like, if you're a fan of the of the other games, cool. I, I, I'm i sure you enjoy it. But really, the only EA title that I play are The Sims. And I don't care about the rest. And they will not get me to check out those games. So I feel like they should probably... Or I would rather see them add some things that everyone would benefit from. Because if you're not a fan of these games, what are you gonna do with those t-shirts or those hats or whatever they added, right? Okay, my budgies are really getting angry. I'm not sure why. Oh, I promised. Oh, yeah, I promised to give them some salad. Yeah, they haven't had their favorite salad for a few days now. Anyway, so yeah, this is another <laughs> modern build that I'm doing. I'm, I'm really not sure how it happened. That That's all I build these days. And I think I will have to be a little careful, especially about using Dream Home Decorator, because Dream Home Decorator could easily become my blue suburban, if you know what I'm trying to say. Because I've ever since I got it, I've used it in every single build that I have done, I think. Definitely in all the builds, and maybe even in all the room builds. Yeah, I feel like I may have used it literally everywhere. But, I mean... <laughs> Like, it's a good pack. Okay, I'm not sure about gameplay. I still haven't checked out the gameplay. But the build mode is... Yeah, it's it's what I would expect from a build-oriented pack. It's really good and the colors are good. And someone just fell in the cage. What are you guys doing? Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, it has, it has really good stuff. I'm not sure about the creator sim stuff. Because I'm now realizing I haven't really checked it out yet. I checked out the high school year stuff, but I kind of didn't really look at the Dream Home Decorator stuff. I just clicked through it so that I wouldn't have all the icons yellow, so you know, saying that I have some new content to check out, but I don't really use it. I usually just filter by custom content and that's it. And then maybe if I want something from the packs, then I uncheck it and <laughs> I usually just use the 
high school year stuff or, or something. But I haven't really used the uh, creator sim from Dream Home Decorator. Oh, it's not snowing, by the way. It stops snowing. Now it seems more like right No, actually, yeah, it is, yeah, 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 it is still snowing, but the snow is um, a little lighter now. When I started recording, there were these big snowflakes falling from the sky, and it looked so pretty. I just love it when it's snowing in winter. Like, we don't really get a white snowy winter anymore, and winters are usually just gray and muddy and just not very, very good. And it just makes you look forward to summer and, and spring and flowers and warmer weather and yeah. Uh, so, shall we maybe talk about what's coming on this channel? Well, I mean, I don't know what is coming because I have recorded all the videos up until this one. This one is coming on 12th February and I have all the videos up until tomorrow recorded already and I'm not sure what's coming in the, the rest of February and March. Obviously I'll keep posting the Fat Hoodie challenge, I'll keep posting the makeovers, um, Tawny makeovers will come back as soon as I'm done giving makeovers to my main sims. Um, I'll keep posting speed builds, I have a few more planned. One is once again a um, modern one. Then last night I started building a beach house in Solani. I'm not sure about this one. It's not very good, I think, but I will probably try to finish it and we'll see. Maybe it will look good in the end. I'm not sure. We will see. And oh, just before I went to record this video, I got an idea for a very fun speed belt and a very fun family to create in The Sims. So I will definitely get on that. I also, I have a collab planned with someone on Twitter. By the time you're seeing this video, I've probably posted the collab already on my Twitter, but the creator sim video will come later definitely in the in the other half of february because i want to record the sim and yeah that's probably all i have to say oh yeah i was planning a create a sim challenge for march based on like women female sims and yeah i know what you're thinking now like creating a female sim that's not a challenge at all everybody creates female sims yeah but i kind of want this one to be like diverse. I want people who will do this challenge, I want to encourage them to create very diverse female sims because a lot of times the kind of female sim you see online the most and I'm guilty of doing it too but most of the female sims you see on the internet are like you know skinny and very conventionally pretty and yeah, and I would kind of like to do a challenge in which not only you will do young adult sims, some of them could and should probably be adults too, maybe even elders. Um, they would all have different jobs, different life stories, um, different backgrounds. Yeah, I would really, if I end up doing this challenge, I would really like to see very diverse sims. Because, you know... Um, Women are always beautiful and all of the women deserve to get some love, not just the skinny young ones. Skinny white young ones. Yeah, skinny young white cis women are the ones who definitely are posted the most on the internet, like in the Sims communities and I don't know. I feel like the other ones need some love too. So yeah, I will see if I do that in the end and Mm, I'm trying to think if I have anything else I wanted to say in this video. Um, I haven't recorded for like two or three days. I was going to, oh yeah, I was going to record this voiceover on Friday, but then my editing software was just not having it. I was trying to put some pictures at the end of the video and it just didn't want to work. Like I wanted to open one picture, just one, and it took like five minutes until it loaded. I don't know why. 
but that's what happened so then i kept trying and then after like an hour i figured that that's just not happening today and i was so sick that i just i didn't really feel like recording the voiceover anymore so yeah i'm recording it now after two very exhausting days and yeah i don't know maybe it shows but also i feel like this is the most excited i've ever been in a voiceover so maybe that's a good thing i don't know yeah i'm really just rambling <laughs> You know what? Um, I'm just gonna say goodbye. Guys, <laughs> I've been talking for a very long time, so... I can't believe I forgot my outro again. What is happening? <laughs> no, anyway. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have anything nice to say. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my other social media. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs> I might cut the bye guys part because I always I say it and I feel so awkward. Love you. Bye guys. <laughs> bye everyone.